bugged you as a red monster star, anticipating that if you put it where the sun is, it would relax to the circle of Jupiter. It's titanic and really unstable, and it will detonate. These are among the best effects of radio energy in the whole universe, making more energy than a billion suns. Scarab Jew is perhaps very potentially one of the most amazing stars perceptible in the night sky. It is a striking piece of the huge scene. What makes Scarab Jew essentially more groundbreaking is its indisputable orange tone, which immediately stands out to those looking upwards. Unlike various stars that maintain a consistent brightness, Scarab Jew is named a variable star, with its huge magnificence wavering over time. This quality adds to its mystery and appeal. Sometimes, Scarab Jew can illuminate so much that it rivals or even outperforms the most shining stars in the night sky, making it an object of interest for both novice stargazers and master cosmologists. Over time, there has been growing speculation among researchers about whether Scarab Jew could be nearing a catastrophic event known as a cosmic blast and what implications this could have for its surrounding components, including Earth. While the chance of a nearby star exploding may sound alarming, it is an event that space scientists are eager to witness as it would provide invaluable insights into the life cycle of stars. To explore Bede's current status and future prospects, we invite you to stay updated by subscribing to our channel, enjoying the video, and turning on notifications. It's the best way to stay connected. Scarab Jew's sheer size is truly shocking. If this star were to replace the sun in our solar system, its gigantic structure would extend far beyond Mars' orbit, overwhelming the inner planets. Moreover, Earth would also be dwarfed as it would dominate the space inside Mars' orbit. Its outer edges would probably extend into the asteroid belt, a region filled with rocky debris and smaller celestial bodies. This impression of Bede's size is both striking and somewhat daunting, revealing just how insignificant Earth is in the grand scale of the universe. Despite its enormous size, there is no need for concern, as Scarab Jew resides at a comfortable distance of 642 light-years from our planet. While this may seem like a vast distance in cosmic terms, it places Scarab Jew relatively close to us, especially considering that it is the closest star to the sun expected to end its life in a massive explosion, making it a fascinating subject of study for astronomers eager to observe such an event. According to celebrated astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, the variation in a star's brightness can be attributed to several factors, including its size, temperature, and distance from Earth. For instance, stars like Rigel and Aldebaran, though both bright, experience instabilities in their radiance. Aldebaran, at its peak, may be as bright as Rigel, but during its weaker phases, it could fade into relative obscurity compared to less luminous stars. This variability in brilliance provides significant insights into a star's life cycle and its ultimate destiny. Recently, Scarab Jew has undergone dramatic changes in brightness, especially in the past five years. This shift has fascinated both astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Scarab Jew itself has a rich linguistic history, tracing its origins back to Arabic scholars. Researchers have debated the precise structure and meaning of the name, but the current usage is generally accepted as the most fitting to describe this famous star. Scarab Jew belongs to the red supergiant category, one of the largest and most massive types of stars in the universe. It is located in the Great Orion Constellation, which is easily visible in the night sky due to its prominent arrangement of stars. Scarab Jew is far enough away to pose no immediate threat to Earth, but close enough to be a focal point of astronomical investigation. The development of advanced cosmic instruments, such as the Hipparcos Astrometric Satellite, has transformed our ability to measure distances to celestial objects with precision. Through this technology, researchers have determined that Scarab Jew is around 430 light-years from Earth. Understanding these vast distances helps to put the scale of our universe into perspective, reminding us just how far apart stars and galaxies are from one another. One of Scarab Jew's defining features is its status as a variable star. Its apparent magnitude, which is a measure of its brightness as seen from Earth, ranges between 0.0, .0 and 1.6, indicating that it undergoes significant changes in brightness. In the Bayer classification system, 
which is used to categorize stars by their luminosity, Scarab Jew is known as Alpha Orionis, meaning it is one of the most prominent stars in the Orion constellation. Occasionally, Scarab Jew can even outshine Rigel, the brilliant star in Orion, due to its unpredictable variations in brightness. Historical records show that Johann Bayer, a 17th-century astronomer, gave Scarab Jew its name in his 1603 publication, where he also named Rigel as Beta Orionis. Despite its prominence, Scarab Jew remained solitary, unattached to any larger star cluster or grouping, in contrast to stars that form in dense regions of gas and dust where new stars are born. Scarab Jew is situated in a relatively calm part of the galaxy. It is also classified as a runaway star, meaning that it has been ejected from its original location and is traveling through space at high speeds. With a diameter over 1,000 times greater than the Sun and a mass 16.5 times greater, Scarab Jew is truly a behemoth among stars. Although it is massive, it is cooler than the Sun, with a surface temperature of 3,600 Kelvin compared to the Sun's 5,778 Kelvin. Despite being cooler, Scarab Jew's brilliance is staggering, shining with a luminosity that is tens of thousands of times greater than that of the sun. Even though it is located 548 light years away, Scarab Jew is considered a relatively young star, estimated to be around 10 million years old. By comparison, our sun is a middle-aged star at approximately 4.6 billion years old. Despite its youth, Scarab Jew is nearing the end of its life. As a red supergiant, it has already consumed much of its nuclear fuel, and its final act will be to explode in a supernova. When this happens, it will release an enormous amount of energy, and the effects could be devastating for anything within a few hundred light years of the explosion. A supernova of this magnitude would produce as much light as an entire galaxy, dominating everything around it. If a star like Alpha Centauri, one of our closest stellar neighbors, were to undergo such an event, it would be impossible to miss. It could appear as bright as the moon in our sky, and the radiation produced by the explosion would have serious implications for Earth. Fortunately, no supernova has been observed in our galaxy since 1604. However, astronomers did witness a supernova in the Large Magellanic Cloud in 1987. This event occurred 169,000 light-years from Earth, but it still had a noticeable impact demonstrating the far-reaching effects of these massive explosions. When a star undergoes a supernova, it leaves behind remnants, which are the leftover material from the explosion. One notable example is the object known as G292.0 plus 1.8, which is a remnant of a supernova that occurred long ago. These remnants are fascinating and often contain high concentrations of oxygen and other elements. The Large Magellanic Cloud where the 1987 supernova occurred, is far enough from Earth to pose no threat, but it serves as a reminder of the powerful forces at work in the universe. If a supernova were to occur closer to us, within 100 light years, it could have significant consequences. Stars like Alpha Centauri, which are within this range, could pose a potential threat if they were to explode. However, Scarab Jew, while relatively close, is located outside of this danger zone, meaning that we are not at risk from its potential supernova. Nevertheless, scientists are keeping a close watch on Scarab Jew, as its erratic nature makes it a star of great interest. The question on everyone's mind is whether Scarab Jew has already exploded. As the closest red supergiant to Earth, Scarab Jew is the star most likely to experience a supernova in the near future. In late 2019, the star underwent a significant and dramatic dimming, which caused much speculation. Some believe that this dimming was a sign that Scarab Jew was on the verge of exploding, as such behavior can sometimes precede a supernova. The dramatic decrease in brightness sparked concern among scientists and the public alike. However, despite the initial alarm, Scarab Jew has since regained much of its brightness, and it now appears that the star is in a more stable state for the time being. It seems that Scarab Jew's final explosion is not imminent, but it remains an object of close observation for astronomers. Scarab Jew with its